Hi everyone, it's Allie and I'm here to do your week ahead reading. Today is the, well, I'm doing the reading for the 13th to the 20th of June. It's the 12th right now. Um, I just have a crazy day tomorrow, so I thought I would start a little bit early and uh, it's nighttime, I'm sure you can tell. And uh, just think about tomorrow and what the week might bring and uh, do a little tarot reading. Uh, today I am using the Anna K Tarot. So an old favorite that I haven't used in a while actually. This happens to be the Indie Edition. Um, it's a little bit smaller, more square than the Mass Market Edition. Lots of people like the Mass Market better. I happen to like the Indie better. And if you're into Indie decks and you think you might want this Indie deck, uh, last time I checked, which is a while now, it's very reasonably priced, and the shipping was also quite reasonable from Europe. So if you're from Canada, like me, or the U.S., like many of my friends, it's not a bad, uh, it's not a bad indie option. Sorry, I'm getting lots of... I don't think they're jumpers. I think I'm just tired. <laughs> All right, so let's think about this week coming up. Middle of June, 13th to 20th. That one's definitely a jumper. thousand cards falling out even with the smaller deck I swear I promise everyone I think I have deck shuffling anxiety like performance anxiety because I do fine when I'm on my own I'm not chucking cards everywhere like I do when I make videos I promise I no way of verifying that so I could be worse you don't even know but I I am honest and I'm telling you that it's only when I'm in camera that I'm so I'm just so me when I'm on camera maybe that's it I'm just more me on these videos than I am, even in my real life. <laughs> Cat's coming. All right. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I pulled three cards all in the upright. First we have oh, the Magician. Sorry, it's dark. I'm trying to angle it properly. That's better. Next we have the Three of Cups, a little party there, <laughs> and then finally we have the Ace of Cups. This is a really interesting spread, um, and I find the order in which these cards came out really interesting. So first of all, this tells me that this is going to be a week of some manifestation. manifestation. <laughs> manifestation right that you're going to be able to take something with you some gifts some skills and make things happen for yourself right look to the magical this week uh look at things that you maybe thought were out of your reach and then think about ways that you can so sort of mindfully draw them towards you or take steps to do so in any case but you have these abilities whatever it is that you're searching for this week um you have these abilities and I think it's really interesting that we have both the Three of Cups and the Ace of Cups here. Um, and th they're in that order. So Magician, you have everything within yourself. But this spread is saying, don't forget, just because you have that ability within yourself, don't forget to draw this in. Like, this is super personal to me right now, this energy, because I live in a place that's sort of slowly reopening after COVID. Some places in the world have been open longer, but where I am, like, people are just being able to start gathering legally and doing that kind of thing. So um, whatever this energy, like, the Three of Cups is just such a meeting of people who celebrate each other, right? Who um, support each other in what they're going to do. People have this like deep understanding. This to me is the kind of friend that you can not talk to for ages. And then um, you can like see them and it's just like no time has passed, right? That while you have all these abilities, bring this in too is what it's saying, right? Like go to your community, even if it's just to celebrate what you're doing, but 
Don't get so wrapped up in your own manifestation that you're not looking at the people around you because whatever it is that you want, this is going to help you get there this week. Uh, and the third card, also a cups card, and it's the ace. So it seems like we're sort of going almost backwards in terms of sort of like power and efficacy from the magician to the three to the one. Um, because the ace is like the inception of something. And it seems to me that like, so th this week will hold like some ability to manifest something you've been working towards with the help of your little posse. Uh, but also there's something new there that needs to be explored. And it's in the suit of cups. So we're talking emotions here. Um, in the traditional Waite Smith deck, uh, it's the cup is being sort of pushed out of the clouds by a hand. Like it's like this energy, this emotional energy feels like it's coming out of nowhere. Now, um, the Anna Kay depicts all of the aces as young girls. Um, and so this, this has less of that feeling that it's sort of manifesting out of thin air. But what the Anna Kay does in this card is demonstrate that she's pulling water out of a brook that has up until recently been frozen, right? You can see the winter scene there. You can see that sort of sunrise energy. So, um, this to me says that you're either going to sort of develop some sort of new emotional interest, passion, could be about a person, could be a new emotion you're not used to experiencing, or this could be a revisiting of something that had previously th frozen over, right? That just maybe it's a relationship that didn't work or um, just uh, maybe like a friendship that had to just, that just sort of fell to the wayside because of the pandemic or who knows what else. Um, and just to dip your cup into that and to explore, is there something that was previously there that was sort of frozen out that you maybe want to revisit this week with a sense of caution, with a sense that maybe it's not going to go anywhere. And of course, never get yourself into a bad emotional situation that you know is bad, right? This is an excuse. This is not an excuse to just go back to something that's not going to serve you because it feels good in the moment or because you are really drawn to another person that's not going to serve you in the long run, right? Um, but is there something that you can begin to gently rekindle um, that maybe has just been stagnant or frozen for a little while? And that feels very separate to me than whatever this is, this is an old familiarity coming home, clicking into it, no problem. This is something that might need a bit of excavating and bringing forward. So that's what I have for you this week from the Anna Kay. I hope that was helpful and that you enjoyed it and we'll talk to you soon.